Hi folks, Swissboim here, welcome back to my channel. I promised you a long time ago that I would show you my entire manga collection. So today I start with my Japanese manga collection. This will be the first part of three parts. Why three parts? Well, it's just because I have too many Japanese volumes and the video would take more than two hours. Today I show you the first bookshelf, this one here. I will start with the top and I will go further down and there are always two rows. So let's start. So, as you can tell, I have two rows. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explain to you the first row and afterwards I will take those away and explain you something about the second row. KC Special, so that's from a young magazine. These are all seinen manga. And then I have a little bit of Morning from Shogakugan, Big Comic Spirits and again Young Magazine. There is a reason for this because these manga here are from one author and then these ones are from the same author but they worked for different publishers. This is Sumire no Hanasa Kukoro. That's an old seinen manga by an author called Matsumoto. The Ping Pong manga by Minoru Furuya, some individual volumes of Tenen Shoujo Man. That is a quite crazy gag manga. Kyo no Gononi, which was also an anime back in the late or mid to late 2000s. That's a little bit of raunchy comedy manga with great schoolers. Yayabusu volume one and two, that's a love comedy with uh, a guy who has a girlfriend who is slightly, just slightly ugly. I mean, that's the title, it's called Slightly Ugly. Brothel Report, so a report about brothels. Sonan Deska Volume 1, this was also an anime. I just got the first volume because mm, I didn't quite like it. All four volumes, a complete set of Hitori Bochi de Koyoshite Mita. That is an interesting uh, drama which takes place in Hokkaido. It's that high school girl who leaves her home and goes on an adventure. She's quite naive. She almost dies of hunger and she meets different people. Tejina Senpai, that was I think an anime as well. That's a cute, funny gag comedy. Volumes 1 to 4, a complete set of Chuni no Danshi to Dai Rokkan by Fukumitsu Shigeyuki as an author which has a quite peculiar art style. Um, I quite like it, but it's not for everyone, I guess. Zombie Torigaru. This is quite interesting. I love this manga. It's, uh, this is a, a romantic gag horror manga. So it's the story of a small company and this dude here he specialized in capturing zombies so zombies are like everyday common you shouldn't get bitten by them because then of course you get infected and there's this small company and there's this freshman this girl here that's uh, her sister by the way this freshman she is eager to learn uh, all about that job and he is eager to teach her and unfortunately uh, it's not finished yet. The artist hasn't drawn anything since at least five, six years. I'm desperately waiting for the continuation, but it's quite interesting. I like this one. This is a short story collection by the same author, Musume Aji, which was also a live action movie. This is also a short story collection, Seikatsu, which was also a live action movie. From here to here, this is all by Goto Yukiko. First, I have a complete set of Ushi Haru. I really like this manga. This is a crazy sex comedy. Basically, it's the story of a young boy. He's 14, he lives in Hokkaido on his father's farm. And one day he suddenly sees the young cow, female cow on his farm as a young woman, well, quite busty woman and also the other boys sees it like that so they are all 14 of course it's a metaphor for sex it's quite interesting it's also touching actually so this girl her name is a uh, Ushiharu she can't speak she just mows and so on this was a crazy story and the ending is also quite heartwarming Archugakse again it's 
stories about sex and so on. She specializes in this topic about the last like, raunchy sex stories and comedies. Then Mizuhiro no Hair, this one I found last year and I talked about quickly in one of my videos, volume one and volume two. These are short stories, horror short stories by her. It's also quite interesting. But the publisher Hakusensha, I got the first two volumes of Chuyon Sai no Koi, Love 14 by Fuka Mizutani. Ah, it's a really good story. I should continue the other volumes, I've read them, uh, the chapters online. That's really sweet, it's the story about these two, they are 14, they're in love. They hide it at school because uh, they are like model students. They are model students that they do not want to show their attraction to each other in front of others in class and there is also a cute story between a teacher and a boy who is uh, almost like a delinquent but he's very talented in singing. Game Over which was a one shot, well one shot, one volume by uh, Fuka Mizutani. That uh, has been some years since I've read this one but I also like this one. Imoto Senshu Ken by Do Gatashigeru. There's a nationwide contest of who's the cutest younger sister and there's so crazy gags. So there's a stadium full of people and they're like cheerleading on some younger sister characters. That's really crazy. Makasete Iruka volume one, which also turned into an anime. This is interesting because one of the characters cannot speak. So she's deaf and she uses sign language. The director was Akitaro Daichi. And the anime doesn't look at all like the manga. Then I got the first volume of Cheers by Charlie Nishinaka. He's a hentai artist. I don't know if he's still active. So this is a sex comedy. It's still not quite classified as an ero manga in Japan, but I mean, you see sex, but it's not quite explicit. Sayuki by Arima Ichiro. This is more or less uh, I would say it's a Maison Ikoku knockoff. It's not as good, it's not as interesting. This is Blue Seed Volume 1 by uh, Yuzo Takada, I think his name, yeah? So yeah, that was an anime in the mid 90s. Wonderful World. Can't remember what that is about anymore. Koiwa Tenran, Tenran? By Aro Hiroshi. Aro Hiroshi, he was quite active in the 90s. He made uh, one gag manga called Futaba Change. I had Futaba Change, but for some reason I don't have the individual volumes anymore. I think these are short stories by him. Misute Naide Daisy. This is also a crazy comedy. This was an anime which came out in the States in the early 2000s on DVD, one of the earlier DVDs. This is a story of this boy. He was sheltered for many years. He's a crazy scientist and he's basically more or less stalking this girl here. It's actually a fun story, but I remember that some people hated the anime because this guy is just a crazy guy. Koro Koro Manga Academy, how to draw manga. It's for kids. It was published in the Koro Koro Manga Magazine. And this is Tento Mushi Comics Special. This is now still the upper shelf. I took all the manga I showed you before away and these are now the bigger sized volume manga. Action comics, uh, manga, flower comics, manga time Kirara, Yurihime, Young King comics, White CK older ones, this should be Media Works, Gum comics, these are very old, Jump comic deluxe and some other here smaller publishers. These four are manga by uh, Kono uh, Fumio, I think her name. This is the author of In This Corner of the World. So these are the Japanese volumes of In This Corner of the World. This is one of her shorter one-shot comics, which was, I think, also translated into English. I think Yunagi no Machi Sakura no Kuni. This is a real heartbreaker. A story which takes place in the 1950s in Hiroshima with a young woman. She then develops the uh, disease from, you know, the nuclear fallout in Hiroshima. Then I have a special volume about the movie in this corner of the world, drawn by many authors. These are all the authors which 
contributed with some manga pictures well basically it's their opinion about the movie and you have like famous authors in here the first two volumes of kaku kaku shika jika this is by higashimura akiko i think this was also it's also translated in English as her autobiographical manga as a uh, manga artist how she started uh, art college and she had a very strict teacher this is also great manga Hanamura san Jusai. what was that again I forgot this was also I think a manga about manga publishing or something the first two volumes of uh, Sanji Onsai Mushoku san by Ikeda Takashi and this author has drawn, I think, Aoi Hana, which was also an anime, a Yuri anime, Yuri manga. And this is a slice of life manga about a jobless 34-year-old uh, woman. Dame Yomeniki, the first two volumes. This is by Watashiya Kaoru. She did Kodomo no Jikan or Nymphet, which was then cancelled by Seven Seas in the 2000s because of the controversy. This manga here, however, is very harmless. This is a Yonkamo manga about a wife and her husband, and it's very cute, basically. It has some great art, and it's also quite easy to understand. It's just a great Yonkomo gag manga. Uchi no Tsuma de Do de Sho. This is by Fukumitsu Shigeyuki, the author I told you before. This author who has a quite peculiar art style. This is a story of a husband who talks about his wife. Hitokui Kazaku, cannibal family. This is some quite satire, absurd manga about the family who starts to eat human meat. Eh, it's quite special <laughs> to say the least. Toro 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 Flat and Flow by Masaru Kaneko I remember I saw that many years ago online It's a slice of life comedy about some girls living alone in an apartment something It looks cute Gokicha So uh, I think I showed you one of my doujinshi last year in a video And this is the official comic this is a story about a cockroach in human form, in a girl form, and her misadventures. Sora no Shita Yane no Naka by Futami Sui. This is also a manga which I don't really remember anymore. Yeah, it's a Yonkoma manga. Okay. I'm not such a big fan of Yonkuma manga. Girls Ride. That was a nice Yuri one about girls who ride motorcycles. I like Yuri. I like motorcycles. I like good art. This one had actually good art. Hoshikawa Ginza Yonchome by Kurogane Ken. Also a Yuri manga. So these are Yuri manga which came out in the late 2000s, I think. Here it's volume 2. I think you know new game. Huh? It's also Yonkuma manga. You all know Keon. Volumes 1 to 3. Shimaizumu by Yoshitomi Akito. He has been drawing since the 90s. He's also better known for Eat Man 98, which was an anime. This one has lots of fury. This is Nettai Shoujo, I think. This one, I think, is more ex explicit. Again, a manga by uh, Akito Yoshitomi. It's a Yuri Yuri special by Namori. Yuri na Katamoi Cham. Can't remember this one at all. When did I get this one? These mangas are all by Oishi Masaru. So, this one is a gag slice of life comedy of a girl whose father has a do-it-yourself shop something like that it's uh, in this kind of reddish color this is a slice of life science fiction manga it takes place in the future i think these are shorter stories if you like manga like yokohama shopping trip you might like this one as well the art is detailed as hell in this one see he has a very interesting detailed art style let me 
Maxi like this. Oide Maseri is also by him. It's the same artist, but his art style is way more cartoonish in this one. Renai Distortion by Inoue Skune. This is a very thick volume. Don't really remember the detail anymore. This is a relationship manga. You can tell that is a influenced by shoujo manga. I mean, it has a very shoujo manga typeish feel. What's Michael? Two volumes. This is the cat manga from the 1980s and 90s, which was quite popular. Complete set of Azumanga Daio. I translated them into German online and later it turned into an anime and thanks to the anime then uh, the manga also became popular and was translated officially in uh, English, German, French and this is Azumanga Recycle Makanai Komusume can't really remember that one anymore but I remember when I got it then I got Mahoromatiku yeah this I got when it was new. I remember there was this advertisement that an anime is being planned and an anime was by Gainax. Sesame Street, the complete set. This is by Matsumoto Izumi, the author of Kimagure Orange Road. This is one of my earliest Japanese manga. I got those in Switzerland in the mid 90s. I was a big Kimagure Orange Road fan back then and I still am. Tomonen, this has a great art style and this was also published in French I think. This is very much almost like a children's book, a little bit the Statue Ghibli art style, has also a nice cover. Kantoku Fuko or something. So this is a manga about Hideaki Anno, drawn by his wife Moyoko Anno. And this is an autobiographical manga with many funny observations of her crazy husband, Anno Hideaki. Ekikoi, these are short stories taking place something in a public transport. It's drawn by Hidenori Hara, who is one of my favorite authors. He has this classical 1980s style. Assistanto. I think this is a Yonkoma manga by Kagami Fumio. Cutish simple art style, yeah it's a Yonkoma manga. He or she, I think it's a he, he's not active anymore. He or she lives now in uh, New York, I think, and likes to draw fan art of one of the famous cartoon series which I forgot the name. And again a uh, manga by Kagami Fumio, Enma-chan. He was actually quite active around 2005 to 2010 and he also published a Lolicon manga, Ero manga in the a late 90s, early 2000 I think. We are now on the second shelf, Furo Ran by Ishida Hiroki. I showed that in a video. It's about two young college students who really like to jog to the next public bath. Abyss, uh, The Sinner of a Deep Sea. This is a great manga, very good art. This is by Tomi Akihito, The Little Mermaid for Adults. Neko no Mani Mani, I have talked about this one. Ponko Tsuponko, Volume 1 to 3 by Keita Yatera. This is a great comedy with uh, some very quiet and sad moments as well. This is basically about this old man here. He has lost his wife, he lives all alone, he's a very grumpy old man. And one day he gets this house-made robot, which was an idea of his late wife, that this house-made robot takes care of him, but she's very clumsy and it has great art. I like this one. Another manga by Keita Yatera, Marisan. This was a one-shot. This is a rather cruel, cruel love story. Two manga by Unita Yumi, Ame Miyuku. And then I got the first volume of Para Para Days, which is about also manga drawing. Well, no, not manga, it's about animation. Unita Yumi, for those of you who don't know, she's the artist behind Bunny Drop. The first volume of Watashi no Musuko ga Isekai Tensho Shitapoi. It looks like my son has been transported to another world. Then the first volume of Hirayazumi by Keigo Shinzo. That is a great slice of life series. Five manga by Aoyama Kei, 
who was a very very talented young artist but unfortunately he uh, took his own life and that was tragic if you want to know more information about this have a look in anime news network I like his art style this is a one shot here Stroborite China girl about the waitress in a China restaurant the first two volumes of Yoiko no Mokushi Rock, I think this is a very interesting story, it takes place in elementary school, she's an elementary school teacher, she takes charge of this class uh, with very special students, uh, they start to worship a girl or they say this girl is like a holy girl, so it's also something with religion and cult. This one is unfinished, it stops in the middle of the story because well unfortunately like I told you the author took his life. Yeah. Okay, then I got volumes 1 to volume 20 of Maiko san chi no makanai san. This is this story which is also as a live action series on Netflix about this uh, young cook in a Maiko house and her best friend who starts to become a Maiko. Well, she's a, you know, geisha in training, Maiko in training. I love this one. I love the cover art especially. Great cover art. Akebi-chan no Serafuku. I also showed you that in a video. So volumes 1 to volume 9. I haven't continued to buy them yet. This one is one of my favorite rom-coms. Skinako ga Megane o Wasureta. Was this announced as an anime? I'm not quite sure anymore. A story about a girl who cannot see well without her glasses. He's very flustered, they fall in love, eh, it's very cute. Tonari no One Sanga Ski is the latest volume by the same author about this junior high school boy who falls in love with uh, his neighbor, this is older girl in high school, she's a movie maniac and they both watch movies together and he wants to learn more about her and she has uh, ambitions to become a scenario, movie scenario writer and so on. And here we are on the second row, I have some manga by Karoka. Most manga, however, are from the lineup Beam Comics. Then I have a little bit of Burst Comics and Big Comics. Some manga by Iwahara Yuji. He's more well known in the West for Dimension V. This is one of his first manga, Kuderka. And then an interesting adventure action manga, Chikyu Misaki. Volumes 1 to 3, Ibara no O. This is a well known manga by him, which was also an anime movie, I think. I think it's called King of Thorn. I have volumes 1 to 6, I think it's complete. Then I've got some manga by Shioya Teruko. This is Tamariba. This is an interesting, actually quite fun slice of life comedy drama about this high school girl. She falls in love with this dude, an older dude who just hangs around the Tama river and she wants to know who he is and what he does and he just plays a little bit the dumb clown but there's a reason behind his behavior. It's interesting, I like it. Tanuki Depon, I think it was a Yonkoma manga by her. That's not Yonkoma but it's always uh, one or two pages full of gags. And then Chocoreto, it's an older manga by her. I have her latest one, Atashi no Senpai, which I have not read yet, but this is a serious Yuri drama. Some manga by Kaoru Mori, this is a short story collection, I think it's also out in English. Then Bright Stories, Volume 1 until Volume 5. I haven't gotten the further ones yet, but I have read them online. Great manga, I love the art. These twins are just fun. Nippon no Ria Sensei. It's basically an ALT, assistant language teacher in Japan. It's a little bit the fish out of water kind of story. Giselle Alain, Volumes 1 and 2. I can't really remember that one anymore, but... I can tell that it's well grown. Two manga by Tomi Akihito, Yavarakai Onna, Rerokan something, Villa Rerokan. By the way, so this is the artist who did the other manga I was talking about. This manga here, so A Sinner of the Deep Sea. I realized uh, afterwards that I had already manga by this author. Two volumes of Akihirie uh, Gunjo School Days. These are short stories. They were also published in uh, German, French, I think also English. Uwagaki by Ryo Hasohachi, Yasohachi. 
this was a science fiction comedy manga i think let's have a look how the art is yeah, it's okay -ish. a comedy by hideji oda ohio Hide hideji kun this author has a quite special art style very detailed not sure if people would consider this art style like attractive i like it koi vazurai Freaks is a manga by Guido Amakure. She is the author behind Sweetness and Lightning and also uh, the, the Galaxy in the Neighbor, the Galaxy Next Door, something like that, which will turn into an anime soon. Sakamoto Desuga Volume 1. I haven't continued to buy the further volumes. This one is <laughs> very funny. The gags are great, but somehow I wasn't compelled to continue buying it, but it actually is good. Then I got two manga by Shimura Takako, volume one of Horo Musuko. This is a wandering song in English. Oh, I got it at the book off. And Awajima Hyakke. This is a story taking place on the island of Awajima, which is uh, near Osaka. Two manga by Kondo Yoko. The first volume of uh, Zakuro something, which was also an anime 10 years ago. Sweep, that's a manga about the sports, which I don't know the English name. You know, you have this ball on the ice and you have to clean the way so that they can score. Onamichi, this is a story of, I think, a mother and her daughter. The mother works in a small bar. She is uh, rather cringy and loud, and that's, I think it's a fun comedy. Then a rather experimental manga, Shashinya Kafka. A very, very special art style, very angular, very out of the norm. And finally, the first volume of Gaku. This is a, a drama about mountaineering, mountain climbing, big comic original. Most manga here are from the big comic spirits lineup. With a small exception, I have some young manga Casey here. First, some manga by Ojiro Makoto, Kimi wa Hokago Insomnia, Volume 1 to Volume 10. That's Insomniacs After School, which will be an anime starting from April. It's a really great seinen romance. One volume of Fujiyama Sanwa Shishunki, that's a rom com with a smaller guy and a taller girl. That's quite tall. She's supposed to be in the second grade of junior high school. Neko no Otera no Chio. Sun, also a great um, seinen romance manga. The first four volumes of Katekin, that was her debut work, which was a raunchy sex comedy. Then I got manga by Kashiwagi Haruko. These are all until here. I first got to know her works thanks to Hanazono Meri Gorand, a great drama. This is about uh, this boy here. He's on the search of an old sword which belonged to his family and which is somewhere in an old um, remote village in the north of Japan. For some reason he ends up in a small village which still practices old Shinto rituals about sexuality and he's then more or less trapped in that village. This is a great drama thriller it was also translated into French and interestingly it wasn't allowed to be imported into Switzerland in the mid 2000s because of its explicit content Ai Sui Sokukan also by her Quojus that was also a sex comedy I wasn't really interested in this one I tried it and I had to stop after one volume Chihei Sen De Dance this is a science fiction action drama about this woman. She works in a lab. There's an accident with her. She is reborn many times different animals. One time she's a guinea pig, another time she is a rabbit or even a dog. There is also her biggest enemy, another woman. That's her biggest enemy. Moritz Bambi, also by her. That's the story of this girl who trains this cow to be a um, fighting bull, like here. I've been to Japan to these fighting events with bulls. 
I, I love the expression of the cow here. Some manga by Munehiro Nomura. She is a female artist also working for Big Comic Spirits. Uwaki, that's a story about romance but also about possible cheating. She falls in love with her neighbor. There's also a telebidrama. Uwaki to Fusen, volumes 1 and 2. Kakeochi wa Skuta ni notte. Katamix is a story about a young woman who remembers her dead grandfather. After the Rain, Volumes 1 to Volume 10, complete. Some are not opened yet. And Kekkon Surute Honto Desu Volume 1 to Volume 7. We are again in the second row. These are all manga by the lineup Big Comic Spirits. Saishu Heiki Kanojo, Volumes 1 to 7. The last love song on this little planet. I forgot the English title. There was also an anime and that was uh, 20 years ago. Manga by Hanna Zawakenko. I am a hero and I got volumes 1 to 7. Those of you who know I am a hero, you can see that I don't have the complete set yet. When I left Japan, volume 7 was the latest one. But I have also other manga by him and I frankly prefer those here. Le Sentiment. This is a great satire about a dude who uh, starts a virtual game. A dude in his uh, 30s and he imagines himself back in high school. He falls in love with a girl. It all takes place in a virtual world. Boys on the run. This is a satire of a dude, a loser guy who just is really unsuccessful with women and then he starts boxing. There is a live action movie. You should read this manga if you like. Bitting satire about the dude who is really a loser who gets his girlfriend take away. Well, more or less NTR and stuff. It's great. I love this manga really. Volumes 1 to 10, so it's a complete set. Later on he meets another woman and she is helping in a box club where he starts to box. I think this is uh, superior to I am a hero. Hakubano Oji Sama. This is a romance drama series from Saku Yukizo about a young teacher who falls in love with an older teacher and it's finished in total with 10 volumes. By the same author I have uh, the first four, well it's a complete set of Serufu and this is a, also a kind of satire, romance satire series of a dude who is extremely, extremely popular with women. He has never done any masturbation and he wants to know how that is so he starts to you know masturbate and he wants to know what's the best feeling how to do it and the women who are in his life or who fall in love with him they don't understand why he does it but he just wants to have his own experience he wants to have pleasure of sex without having sex because that's for him too easy he gets to know this girl who is an expert in masturbation somehow it has some great humor and it's finished with volume 4. Um, I think this is volume 3 of one of his later manga. On top I have three manga by Akira Oze. Now Akira Oze, if you remember, I showed you another manga by him in a special video, Hatsukoi Scandal. He has a very mature art style. This story is about the young boy who is, I think, the only boy on a small island to, uh, in his elementary school. So basically the parents are being told to come back to the island to revive the island. Oh no, wait. No, it's the boy alone. The parents stay back in mainland Japan, but the small boy, he goes alone to a small Okinawa island. He really enjoys it at first and he also meets a girl for a short time who also goes to the same elementary school as him. So the idea is because Japan gets more and more uh, depopulated in rural areas, the idea is to revive rural areas by incorporating kids to uh, schools. If they wouldn't get kids, the schools would have to close down. So that's the idea. It's it's a great drama. I just have these two volumes and I like it so far. I got a newer manga by him, On Sight. This is all about climbing. These again are from Big Comic Spirits. And then I have a little bit of Young Sunday comics here. And again, big comics and some from smaller publishers. Kik no Onesan, volumes 1 to 3. 
I don't remember anymore if this is finished with volume 3. So basically this is like a romance, a little bit of rom-com with a very talented young woman who can kickbox. Then I got slow motion Moichido, a complete set. This is a great romance which takes place in the 2000s. 2010s but it's about two teenagers who are really in love with 1980s culture especially with 1980s music she really likes idol music from the 1980s this boy as well and so they get to know each other the hairstyle she wears is very 1980s it's finished with the seventh volume Kano Rie from the same author I have a new manga Kanojo wa Kyomo Katazukanai but I haven't really read that one yet today she's also not cleaning her apartment she is not good at cleaning every day okay I see Kono S o Mio by Kitazaki Taku that is a romance drama with some great humor the story of a guy who gets a tattoo a special tattoo and thanks to that tattoo all the women fall in love with him and want to have sex with him <laughs> I know it sounds strange but he's just in love with one woman I think uh, his childhood friend but then he has to fend off other women and he doesn't want uh, his childhood friend to see his tattoo because then he doesn't know if uh, she really loves him or if she just wants to hump him because of his special tattoo. Cupid, a sex comedy drama about a dude who can only have sex for a few times before he can not have sex anymore or he will lose his productivity, something like that. Great characters also, there's a live action drama. My personal favorite by this author is Sakurambo Syndrome. This dude, he's a young salaryman. He gets to know this high school girl. She has a disease, a special disease. She gets younger and younger and only kissing can prevent that. She looks like 10, 11 years old. And then there are other women. There's his boss who is in love with him. He gets into a relationship with his boss, but then he still has to kiss her because if he doesn't do that, she gets like, I don't know, she, she will die. Um, it gets then quite into taboo territory around here, but it's great. I uh, really, really like this one. The art is great as well. This is a short story collection of Takukitazaki Ore Yome. Then we have some manga by Hoshisato Mochiru. He is one of my favorite authors. He specialized in rom-coms, Kosoku Sisters, Lightspeed Sisters. I have now this one complete about the dude who dies and who is relived by aliens. One of the aliens transforms as his supposed little sister and he has no memory of her that he had a little sister, something like that. Haruko no Hare no Hi. Haruko's Sunny Days, that's an office rom-com. Then I got Chanto Kaite Mascara Volumes 1 and 2. Again, Hoshisato Mochiru. This is the story of this young elementary school or junior high school girl who has to draw manga instead of her father because her father, who is a manga artist, always escapes from home for no reason. This is a comedy. She's actually quite skilled. She can really imitate her father's style. Then I got a completely different manga. This is not by Hoshisato Mochiru. It's called Love Sync Dream. This is a collaboration actually between manga and Bond Destiny. I think the art is from manga but the story is from a French artist. I would have to look it up again. So this is uh, rather special but I don't really remember the content anymore. So this is drawn by Kamui Fujiwara and the plot and scenario is by Jean-David Morvan. And Morvan, yeah, he's quite famous in France for his Bond dessinés. These are all manga by Hoshisato Mochiru. First half Nabundake, the first volume, and then the second volume. I think this is a nice idea have this art work like that. That's, uh, I think it was a an office rom-com. Hoshisato Mochiru, he specialized in rom-coms with adults, so there are usually no teenagers in his stories. Speaking of teenagers, I said he usually doesn't have teenagers, but in this story he has. That's uh, Riving Game. I think that's my favorite manga by Hoshisato Mochiru. For some odd reason, I have the first volume twice. So uh, this manga, is about this young salaryman here 
he dreams of living in a bigger apartment and then he gets a bigger apartment, he can rent one. And then there's an earthquake and his company moves into his small apartment and then he has to live in his company and he doesn't want that. And then there's even one more member, one more salary man or let's say salary woman coming into his office and that's her and she's 15 so she just graduated junior high school the boss tells him that he should take care of her and then slowly but surely there is a romantic relationship going on between these two it's a quite nice story i like the art so this is like typical hoshisato mochiru he has a simple art very simple very classic so if you like 1980s manga you probably like this one as well it came out in 1991, I think, and it finished around 1994-95. There are in total 10 volumes and they have all been translated uh, online. So there's a scanlation in English. Check it out. I think it's worth it. Yume Kamoshinai, volumes 1 to 5. That's a romance drama. This dude here is visited by a young ghost. She was an idol. He was a big fan of her. He cannot remember her at all five volumes and it's a quite sad story towards the end it's like this kind of like bittersweet Kekon Shioyo let's marry another one of Hoshisato Mochiru this one was all about two young adults working in a company arranging marriages but the two main characters are not married so it's all about how they get together and marry well finally they do Omrais like the dish omrice that was also an interesting story about the dude who uh, then lives together with young women and a doctor the reason is they all share the same family name but they are not related honki no shirushi that's probably his most famous story because it became a drama and a live action movie uh, not too long ago and the live action movie was even at the film festival in Cannes in France. This is the story about this uh, salaryman. He's in a relationship with two women of his company but he's not really in love with them. He's a bit a cold guy and then one day he meets her and he falls in love with her but she's trouble. She ran away from her husband. She basically drags everyone into misery with her but he can't help helping her. It's a romance drama and it's finished with volume 6. Then Kininaru Yomesan. Only two volumes of this one here. I don't really remember the story anymore. Runa Heights. That's finished with volume 4. This one was also a dorama about a guy who is about to marry his girlfriend and he has already bought a house and in the very last moment his girlfriend, his fiance backs out leaves him and he's all alone in this new house there are some women working in his company who then move into his house so this is an interesting relationship manga iki bata shufu Ramburu. can't really remember that one anymore kaiju no ie and that is for people who really love kaijus this is a story of a guy whose house is then being used for a movie set for a kaiju movie it's only two volumes then uh, one shot yoru no snika i think this is this couple here or they're not even a couple but they move at night uh, they walk through whole tokyo Achimo Gochimo. Can't really remember that one as well. It's also a one shot. These are all manga until here by Kira Takashi. Again, an artist specialized in romantic stories. A little bit less uh, comedy based compared to Hoshisato Mochiru, but nevertheless great. Botsu Ichi. And this is a drama about a man who loses his young wife and how he copes with this loss. Then my favorite manga by him, Sekito Ereji. And this is a story which takes place in Osaka and it's among young adults. Let's say they are uh, rather the lower class. They don't go to university. That's a romance story between a really weak dude and a rather tough chick and they all talk in Osaka slang. 
she learns to become a truck driver and he he just jumps from job to job it's quite interesting especially if you like uh, kansai ben and you have been to osaka so you recognize some places they go and the romance really develops greatly i really really like this manga it has also been uh, scanlated into english but there's no official translation i think Ketchin. This is a romance story, slice of life story of a young high school boy. He starts motorcycling, he's in love with his childhood friend, his childhood friend is in love with another dude, not him here. And it's all also about motorcycling. Later on he gets enough confidence to make a trip to Hokkaido. The first volume of Dekoboko. This is the story of a young uh, junior high school girl, I think. She is extremely good in motocross cycling. It only has two volumes. I was looking for the second volume, but couldn't find it anymore. I think I can only buy it digital now and not in print. Hypoji, high position. That's a great story. A guy in his 40s who has a family one day an accident gets back into his body of his high school days in 1986 and he has a chance to get into a relationship with the girl he always loved this is a great manga for all of you who just like you know 1980s japan nostalgia you know music is still was still on tapes cd was still quite new and so on and also the haircut you know 1980s Kimi no Suizo o Tabetai, so we are leaving Kira Takashi, we're moving to other artists. These are the two volumes of I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. I got the manga first and I saw the anime later, it came out later. And the manga was still okay, but the anime I didn't like, it was just too tacky for me. Momosora by Itokatsu, it's just one volume. Shirogane no Nina. This one is out in English. I think it was also translated online. About a young dad who has to take care of this girl coming from Finland, I think. That was quite sweet. Ane Ototo. This is by Tomomachi Natsuo. I think the art is rather rough, this one. Yeah, it's interesting. That's a relationship, slice of life relationship manga. Not really a rom com but rather a serious story. And by the same author, I have some short stories. Chuo Sendorop, so that's also one shot by him, all by the same author, Motomachi Natsuo. In the back, we have mostly manga by Ke Tome and some other artists. But until here, this is all Ke Tome. She's well known for Yesterday o Utate, Sing Yesterday for me which was also an anime three years ago. Actually, the manga is finished, but I haven't gotten the last volume, volume 11 or 12 yet. And this is a special volume. So that's a, it's a great romance drama. One of her first manga was Kurogane. Kurogane, that is a fantasy manga taking place in Edo, Japan great the first five volumes Hitsuji no Uta which I showed you that I have also the German volumes volumes one to seven that's the last one and these are short stories by her for example Bokura no Hembyoshi it's also out in French I got this one in French as well Zero Gen e Hakurankai and this is a story taking place in uh, Taisho Japan and this one is a hardcover, interestingly. I also don't really remember that one anymore because, you know, please forgive me, I got those manga, you know, 20 years ago. 20 years ago, some of them, those I got more than 20 years ago. 20 years ago, you know, this is Hatsuka Nezumi no Jikan, thriller of young uh, high school kids who are in a special high school and they realize that they are being used for experiments about drugs and medicine so they try to escape that school and one shot Momonchi that's a romance story I think 
And I got this one here, it's a bigger volume. As always, really nice art. This is an even full color. The first three volumes of Girlfriend by another artist. I think the artist's name is Benten. A Benten Court. Okazono Masaya is the author. Always short stories of different characters falling in love, about relationship. It has a lot of humor, as you can tell here. Then Konokoiwa Mi Mionranai. A rom com, a great one with great art about a playboy guy, dude who completely falls in love with a young, innocent girl and he really wants to have a relationship with her but at the same time he has his sex drive and he's having <laughs> like a relationship with all the other women. It's great, it has three volumes and the author is called Taketomi Tomo. WXY by Madoka Machiko. Can't really remember this one anymore. by Somato. I think it also has an English release. That's a great one. Yeah, that's by the author of Shadow's House. That's a creepy fantasy story. Great art. Love it. Love it. And I also love some of the color pages. This is great. It has this very creepy cat here. Then Kamisama no Hanari. I remember I got it in uh, London in a Japanese shop. That's a story of this boy, he lives in Okinawa and he's extremely good, as an extremely good swimmer, diver, something like that. And finally I got De Madame Restore by Yoshiharu Mishima. This is a rather experimental manga I think, yeah, the art is very abstract. I don't know if it's out in English, maybe it is. Well in the front row I have many different artists, for example Mohiro Kito, Oshikiri Rensuke, Akito Yoshitomi, Tanigawa Niko. Let's start with Tanigawa Niko. This is Choku, volumes 1 to 4. I think that's complete. That is the artist combi. I think these are two artists, wife and husband. They are better known for Watashi wa Motenai no wa do. It's your fault that I'm not popular. This was also an anime. I unfortunately only got volumes 1 to 4, but it has already 13 or 14 volumes and it gets really good starting from, with volume 6 or 7. She's an otaku and loner and she really wants to get friends in high school and she's really awkward in the beginning. It's cringe, the manga, especially in the beginning and the anime is uh, based on the first four or five volumes. But later on she actually gets friends, uh, many different uh, girlfriends. Uh, it becomes almost like a Yuri manga so it, it gets really good but I only have the first four volumes which are definitely weaker. Uh, Choku, this was a story of a girl who always gets extreme nosebleeds. Suzuki Sun Volume 1. I think that was a color manga, a web manga, one of the earlier web manga back in the early 2000s. Yeah, it's a Yonkuma manga, had some great gags. Boku ga boku de aru tame ni. Is that One Week Friends? Or it's by the same artist who did One Week Friends, I think. Kuzumi kun kuki yomete masu ka. That's a rom-com. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, was that an anime? I forgot. But yeah, I think it's also officially out in English. Then some manga by Yoshitomi Akito Tsurebito. This artist has great art. He's also quite active on YouTube. He has his own channel where he shows his drawing skills. Blue Drop, which was then an anime. That is a kind of Yuri manga. Chikyu no Hokago. Volumes 1 to 6. This is a post apocalyptic manga. One dude and some pretty girls surviving in post apocalyptic Tokyo. It has a lot of fan service. Skuru Ningyo. That's a horror manga with a lot of edgy killer mermaids at school in their swimming suits. Balance policy. I don't remember that one at all. Then Shaotoko. The seinen manga version, one of the seinen manga version by Watanabe Wataru, the story which supposedly was true. This artist is better known for this cycling manga which has an anime adaption, I totally forgot the title. Otomari Honey! 
Uh, I can't really remember that anymore. Himegoto by Minen Nami Ryo. I think that was a drama. Yoko Yari Mengo, Kusen no Honkai, Scum's Wish, so it's volume 1 and 3. I have the first volume now also in French. And there was an anime. Some manga by Oshikiri Renzuke. I like this artist, he has a very peculiar art style. This is Mizumizo. There are two volumes. It's about a elementary school girl who is bullied at school and then she takes revenge and this is a great suspense horror manga Homura no Me only one volume Otaku no Koi no Monogatari Renai Anthology there are different artists the best story is by him it has a really great punchline at the end but I don't want to spoil it Pupipo that was also an anime that was like a short anime uh, almost a decade back about this girl and this strange looking creature Tsubaki also just the first volume Pico Pico Shonen it's about video games like retro video games maybe the story is most well known for in the west high score girl the first five volumes and there are at least five more I should buy the rest then we have manga by Mohiro Kito, first Bokurano, volumes 1 to 5, that's great science fiction drama, very cruel drama. There was also an anime back in 2007, then Zansho, that's a short story collection, then Noboruda, this is also a manga about climbing, Japanese really like climbing. Hime Sama no Hermetto, these are short stories between 1987 and 2022, and in the back I also have some Mohiro Kito and other artists, so let's have a look. Here are Narutaru volumes 1 to volumes 12 and Nanika Mochigatte Maska. These are also by Mohiro Kito. His best known work is definitely Narutaru. That's a very cruel science fiction story. It's out in German, it's out in English, it's called Shadow Star in English. I remember when I got those. I was on my first trip in Japan. I went into a Toranoana and these two volumes were prominently displayed. I thought yeah, it might be like a cute story, you know, a girl and her like Pokemon something. And I glanced through the art and I very quickly realized, okay, this is serious. Definitely not for kids. Nanika Mochigatte Maska. This is a story of a high school boy who has some special psychic power. Yotsubato, volumes 1 to volume 13. It's not finished yet. Great, great, great comedy manga. Great slice of life comedy manga with this special girl. I think you all know Yotsubato. This is Vandermiel no Tsubasa. This is an old story by Mohiro Kito and it was also out in German. I think there are only two volumes and they are out of print in German. Toradora 1 and 2. I think you all know Toradora. Let's put those back here. Kamichu was an anime back in the early 2000s about some girls living in a, a city near Hiroshima. They are junior high school students. She says one day she is a god. The manga is by Naruko Hanaharu. I like the art of this author. Ichigo Mashimaro, volumes 1 to 7. This is also out in English, in German, I think also in French. That was a great, great gag manga. I love this one. Dormasta volumes 1 to 4. I'm not sure if this is finished. That is an interesting story. This is uh, about a girl who starts to make figurines. She's very skilled in hand handicraft and then one day she gets to know this guy here who is a figurine sculptor. And then she, you know, gradually starts to get into this world of figurines. It's interesting, it came out in the early 2000s. One volume of uh, Crest of the Stars and Two Heart, also one volume. All these manga here are by DC Comics. This is Dengeki Comics. These are all by Afternoon here. The last shelf contains mainly manga by Kodansha Afternoon. Afternoon is a manga magazine which I used to love. I still love it. 
but I'm not really following it anymore. First I got manga by Ueshiba Riichi, Nazo no Kanojo X, My Mysterious Girlfriend X, I think it's finished with volume 10 or 12. The art of Riichi Ueshiba is quite peculiar. He likes to draw many many details in the background. For example here, that is typical Ueshiba Riichi. I like his art. Yumet Sky, which was also an anime. So Nazar Kanojo X was an anime, but this one as well. The content, it's hard to explain what it is about. It's basically a follow-up of this communication, which I will explain shortly afterwards. Super mindfuck, to say the least. Some very strange Yuri Lolicon fantasies. What is going on here? My god, what is going on here? Help! How I got to know this artist, got to know him first with this communication, I got those in 98. I really like his art. Back then it was already very detailed, the story was very interesting, romance, uh, science fiction, fantasy story of a girl falling in, in love with a boy who is really, really strange. So 13 volumes plus a special volume here. Yeah, his art evolved a lot around these volumes. It got really, really detailed here already. All volumes of Yokohama Kaidash Kiko. This is Yokohama Shopping Trip. Probably my favorite manga of all time because it has a great story and great art. She's a cyborg. She lives in a post-apocalyptic Japan. She has a small cafe in the countryside. She's waiting her master. The art is just so good. You can now finally buy it in English by uh, Seven Seas, but the print is too dark. You lose some of the detail. Phenomenal art. It has these quiet, sad moments. Yashike. So it's a healing manga. One of my favorite cover artists, this one here. Kabu no Isaki. This one I didn't continue. I don't know why, because the art is still great. I think the story wasn't quite as interesting. This has also, I think, eight or nine volumes. Imoto Days Tanaka Yuki. This is a story of this elementary school girl from another country moving to Japan and then she has to cope with Japanese customs and so on. This dude here, he's taking care of her. That was a sweet story. Uh, volumes 1 to 3. Kyo no Yuiko san. That was a rom com about a tsundere. Yeah, she's definitely tsundere. Volumes 1 and 2 of Okami san Tara More desu. It's also out in uh, English, I think, officially. This girl, when she touches this boy, she just blurts out what she thinks. She's super honest. He tries to avoid people because when he touches people, they all get very honest. This is the back of the last shelf from my first bookshelf. Kiseju, Parasite, the first two volumes. I need to continue to buy this manga. I've read a bit further than the first two volumes. It's a great classic. Gunsmith Cats, I don't know if there are more than just six volumes. Mokke, volumes one and two. This is a story of two young girls and their encounters with yokai spirits. Manga by uh, Kiyo Shimoku. This is a short story collection or it's just a one-shot. Yonense, that was a one-shot about college students which developed into Gonense. These are five-year students. Maybe they are just job hunting all the time. His best known manga by far is Genshiken. Genshiken, which was uh, an anime. It's about this otaku club in the college. I love it. Then Genshiken Nidaime, second series, volume 10 to 14. And it's not finished, I should continue to buy it. Jikoburi, I think this has only two volumes. This is a story of a young girl taking care of the baby of her sister. Or no, it's her, her baby. The girls are very moe, but the baby is so hyper realistic. And it's all the problems like how to sleep through the night, how to give milk. It's very strange, sometimes even cynical, because she's then really fed up with this always screaming baby. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I'm just wondering if it's based on his real life experience as a father 
something like that. Yeah, and he had stress and he just wanted to draw a manga about his experience. I don't know. Pesci, an older manga. I was about this very, very strange girl. It takes place in elementary school. One random volume of uh, Megamizama, Oh My Goddess, volume 11, Rav Roma. Romantic comedy with a lot of word plays by Toyoda Minoru. This has a lot of Tsukomi Boke humor, so this Manzai stand up comedy humor. I could swear this was also translated into English. And it's a bit older, I think it came out almost 20 years ago. Koharu no Hibi. Strange comedy about a girl who is basically a stalker. She's totally in love with the protagonist. She goes to extremes, she's following him and he finds her like she's licking on his fruit. Strange. Poor guy. Unme no Onnanoko by Yamashita Tomoko. Doesn't ring a bell to me anymore. Family Compo, Volumes 1 to 3, by Tsukasa Hojo, the author of City Hunter. These are one of my earlier Japanese manga, I got them in the late 90s. This is actually the husband, not the wife. This is actually the wife and she, it's not clear in the beginning if she's a boy or a girl. He's very confused, he falls in love with him or her, you know. Angel Heart, Volumes 1, 2 and 4. That was the successor of City Hunter and was published in Comic Bunch, which was new back then, a new magazine launched by Tsukasa Hojo and uh, Buronson, uh, you know, the artist of Fist of the North Star. I love Biori, and that's a sweet, sweet slice of life romance manga. King Yoya Kojo Ten. This is also out in English. This is a story of a young woman working in a used bookstore and you learn a lot about people and their relationship with manga. Sex Nanka Kyominai, I'm not interested in sex. By Kizuki Akira. Yeah, I'm not interested in sex, but it's full of sex. She's a rather well-known artist. This is Komi Iki. So that concludes the very first shelf.